Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today you guys I'm back with another video. So yeah, you guys, I know these videos are long overdue, but I promise you it's for a very good reason. Your girl's been working behind the scenes on some new um, inventory and new products. So please bear with me in doing so, but I owe it to y'all, my subscribers and all y'all um, some videos. So today you guys, I have to do this custom case. Um, this customer, I had my sticker. Okay, here we go. She wanted like shoes, pocketbooks. Um, she's Muslim. She's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. She wanted clothes, and obviously, she didn't really pick a color. She just wanted me to go with the flow. So obviously, y'all already know by the theme what the color of them pearls and them rhinestones gonna be. So yeah, you guys. Um, I always ask you guys to leave in the description box uh, what it is that you guys would like to see, and I've gotten some comments on slowing down my video. Um, today I will try to slow down the video as much as I possibly can, but I'm telling you guys, if I was to slow this video all the way down, <laughs> this video would be super long. And I know that a lot of people don't like to watch long videos, because I know I sure don't. So I'm going to try to um, fit as much as I possibly can in this video. If not, um, I'll try to insert um, or do different things in the next video. But um, you guys wanted to see what is it that I actually use. So this time, as you can see, I have my pieces put to the side and I'm actually using planner. This is laser cut pieces and some alloy pieces, like pieces that you put on um, like charms, charm pieces, they call charms as, as well. Um, I'm using those as well. Um, a lot of us who bling, we are very creative when it comes to blinging. Um, this is a, a a set piece that I made myself with the resin um, we get very creative like we use all different type of stuff buttons whatever we can glue we use it and the phone cases be popping um, if you're not already please go follow me on my Instagram and designs by NYC um, I post there a lot um, so yeah you guys y'all don't want to miss if I don't post here I'll definitely post on Instagram so make sure y'all go follow me but back to what I was saying so today this is all the pieces that I'm working with. So the glue that I typically use in, on all of my cases is either E6000 or Gorilla Glue. Okay, you guys, I normally use, and it'll say clear. Make sure that it says clear. So it's E6000 glue. Um, I normally use like anything by them as long as it says clear. So this is like a uh, jewelry glue. And the difference between this glue and this glue is uh, the piece. Um, and I just lost it. But it's like a little nozzle piece that you put on top of here so you can like fill in. So for people who have a hard time, because when this glue comes out, you guys, it comes out pretty, pretty fast. So you can either use this glue with the nozzle piece, or you can also use, let me show you these little small ones. You must put that top back on because if not, you will dry your glue out. So it, it, it becomes very um, tedious at times, but once you get the flow of it, you'll understand. So this is the nozzle that goes on like that. So you'll be able to like squeeze underneath. So today I decided to work with this one. So to show you guys like how easy it is um, to use this one. It's, it's not that, e it's easier than using um, this one. Um, I also use the Gorilla Glue, Clear Grip Gorilla Glue. Um, I've been using this for about, I want to say, maybe a year now. And I actually like it. The only thing with this glue is that it's stronger than the E6000 glue. Okay? It's much stronger than the E6000 glue. But I always recommend that when you're playing around with anything that has um, a strong aroma or adhesive or anything like that, like chemical-wise, because at the end of the day, these are chemicals, you want to make sure that you wear a mask. Okay? Um, a mask that has the, uh, what is it, 35P, what is it, you guys? The ones that we wear right now, okay? So yeah, you wanna make sure that you have on one of those. Um, the next thing that I'll be going in is with a picking tool. Um, I I don't use this end. Um, a lot of people use this end, well, you know, when you picking, I might use it to pick up, but for some reason I like to use this end. What I'll do is, and as you can see, all of my stuff, right? You guys, all of my, they always break. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this one don't have a, a wax or points or two. But um, what I like to do is put glue on the end and then like use, I don't know you guys, but that's just how I do it. 
um you can do whatever is comfortable for you but that's just, just the way how i do it so yeah you guys so let's just get into this video um so the first thing that i do is try to place my pieces do not like my pieces to overlap um a lot of blingers they use a lot of pieces and the blingers they, 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 they i ain't gonna lie them cases be dope they be real cute but um i like to let all my pieces stand out and you know all of that good stuff so um I'm gonna try right now to try to get my pieces going the way I want them. And this is a uh, Galaxy 20 Ultra case. Galaxy Note. Galaxy Note 20 Ultra case. Okay, so this is one of them big cases. It looks like an iPhone case, to be honest with you. But it's a little bit bigger. Um. So sometimes you guys, this can normally take me, this could take me a long time to do. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. Because if it's not how I want it, I wind up changing it around. And it's a lot, it's a lot. I don't like one colored overlap as well. Like you see how this, well you can't see this one, but this is actually a black. This is black, so I don't really like when the pieces, like the colors are like together like that. So I'm probably, and then like the two white, so I'm probably gonna wind up changing it around. I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna put this right here. It goes together and if you notice on a lot of my cases when i place the pieces i want the pieces to make sense so radiant positive by classy classy got a lot to do with lipstick getting dressed and all of that good stuff so i try to put the pieces together so that it makes sense <laughs> like i don't know like it's kind of like you reading a book you guys it's kind of weird but if you look at a lot of my cases you'll understand what i'm talking about when i say that um but yeah I think I can put that right there. Mm. Let's move that down some. Let's put this right here. Let's put that right here because that's going to come in between that black. And I can put this piece right here. And then I have this yellow, this white, the white star. Um, move that up just a little bit so I can get that up there. Right here, and then I can put my name. Okay, so I am like satisfied with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my pieces. This is the, I don't know if it's because uh, y'all watching, but this is the fastest I ever um, put something together. I think it's because I really, I'm really sitting and I'm thinking and um, and I definitely do gotta hurry up before the kids wake up, you guys, cause it's like really early. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my pieces, but this part I'm gonna speed up you guys because I'm already like nine minutes over and y'all still gotta see more, so. Let me go ahead and glue this. see my pieces are complete i actually did go and remove the you guys may have pieces up so y'all going to my hear them in the background um so i did remove the piece from the out the um ladybug 
it was actually easy. Um, just I just used my little tool. You want to be careful when squeezing to get the glue out because um, if you squeeze too hard, even after applying the glue to the back of your pieces and you sit it down, you'll wind up losing a lot of your glue because the pressure is actually still pushing the glue out. So just be um, easy when you're um, squeezing on the tool. So now we're about to get into, um, and this I normally let my phone cases dry, but um, because I want you guys to see step by step what I'm doing, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, glue the rhinestones while I um, still allow the pieces to dry on the case. So let me just show you the rhinestones that I'm going in with today. I have, of course, the yellow, red, black, and white. I also have some, I don't need this white, I have some little yellow rhinestones just to fill in the little gaps that I have. So I think that should be good, that should be enough. I also have another mixture that I have to borrow from, which is another black, white, red mixture, but it has some um, clear and some gray in it. But I just need the yellow. I'm just gonna spread it out so I can use the yellow. And then I'm gonna use this one because I've got some bigger red in here and I need that bag. Okay. And it also has some yellow that I might wind up using. Here it is, you guys. Let's get to blinging. Um, sometimes I start in the middle, sometimes I start in the outer perimeter. But right now, just so you guys can see, um, I'm gonna just start on the outside and move the case up. gonna work on the outside but you guys do you see how the glue is coming out so you want to be mindful of that like I said and then I'm just gonna place the glue in all the small areas and you see how easy it is to go in between you don't have to wait for your pieces to set to add the glue I mean to start adding the rhinestones but um, that's what I do I just squeeze like out like that. Squeeze on the two so that it can pull the glue back in. Touch on the glue with my picking tool just so I can get this part of my um, tool a little tacky so that I can go and place, pick up my rhinestones and stuff. So I'm gonna start right here on this corner because it's really tight. As you can see, and I'm just going in with these rhinestones right here. I don't know if you guys can see, or considered to be two mm rhinestones. I think these are the littlest rhinestones that they that they have, two mm. And I love these. Even though it makes my job a lot more tedious. Um, Cases come out. Um, and as you can see, I'm placing mainly yellow in this area, and that's because, as you can see with the ladybug, there's a lot of red and black on there. So to throw it off a little bit, I want to place as much yellow in this area so that it won't blend in too much with the ladybug. If that makes any sense. So the only thing we don't see is yellow. So that's basically what I'm going for here. Somebody, you can go take them out. Good morning. So, you guys, I think I might be done. Just 
slowing down this video and that is because as you can hear in the background the kids are up somehow you can go or we'll take him out of that take him out of his bouncer and then it sound like that he got like a little cold so he's not really feeling too well Little yellow in the corner right there. And here she comes, you guys. <laughs> yes, Mr. Nathan. Love touching and playing with my stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's all he wanna do is come over here and start touching stuff. So funny. Okay, you guys, I hope <laughs> y'all can see this. Because this light is just I normally like keep like a little thing around you will wind up use I don't know I don't have to do this but as when it start getting like real tacky and clumpy I not normally just keep like a wipe or some tissue near me and just wipe it off and then I'll just continue placing the glue Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna speed this video up. I hope that um, it was informative, um, but again, I will slow down um, my next couple of videos. So you guys, if you did miss anything, um, if I did miss any step, I will definitely show you on the next video. But let's go ahead and speed this video up. Okay. So we're about to go ahead and tear back this paper. guys I'm just taking my time and tearing back the paper because um, the pieces are not completely dry and I don't want to shift anything so I see something sticking up I just want to push it down a little bit okay, here we go. okay you guys so here it is the phone case is complete and I'm feeling it what about you guys drop a thumb or worry so I just want to say thank you for watching my videos comment in those likes um, be sure to um, make sure the post notifications are on so that y'all can be notified every time I upload a video because y'all don't want to miss them. So, you guys, until the next video, bye bye.